With the popularity of light line and finesse techniques over the last couple years, a lot of anglers are using braid to a fluorocarbon leader. I'm no different. All my spinning reels are set up the same way. I'm going to use a 10 pound braid to an 8 pound fluorocarbon leader. Now sometimes when the water's really clear, I may drop down to 6 and there are times when I go as high as 10 pound fluorocarbon. But over the years I've learned that one knot has become really effective for me. Now there are a lot of knots out there that you can choose from, but I'm going to show you how to tie one that's not only easy to tie, but very effective. Here's how to do it. The knot that I learned to tie years ago is referred to as the Alberto knot. And I make a loop with a thicker line. The thicker line when you're tying braid to fluorocarbon is usually going to be the fluorocarbon leader. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to make a loop with that. And then I'm going to take my braid and I'm going to put it through the loop. I'm going to grab the loop here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make six wraps around this part of the loop. There's four, here's five, and then here is six. Okay, now I'm going to grab the knot here, and then I'm going to do the same six wraps on this side. So now I'm going to do one, two, do three, four, five, and finally six. All right, now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stick it through the fluorocarbon loop, just like so. Now I'm gonna pull on this and the whole knot will start to cinch together, just like so. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I pull tightly on that and it makes that knot smaller. Once that is complete, then I am going to take my scissors and I am going to take the fluorocarbon end. I'm going to hold it between my fingers as close to the knot as I can get. Snip that off. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the braided end. And there you go. That is a completed knot. Now I'm going to show you one more tip how to make it slide easily through the guides. Now that my knot is complete, the area of the knot that usually hangs up the most in the guides is going to be your fluorocarbon tag end. So that's why I clip that as close as I possibly can. Now I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned from Captain Brian Box over there at Cast King. And this has really helped me out and it'll do the same for you. I'm going to take some chapstick and I am now going to coat the knot with that chapstick. Put it on there and I'm going to just work it into the knot. Okay, now that that's on there, that little trick right there will help you or help your knot slide through the guides with ease. You'll barely even notice that it is there. You'll get farther, more accurate cast and that chapstick stays on a long time. Great tip for a great knot. The Alberto knot will work for any braid to fluorocarbon leader setup that you have. Now the two lines that I use are suffix 832 and suffix castable Invisalign. Now the 832 is made with Gore-Tex fiber so the line sinks and fluorocarbon line also sinks. And I like that because with sinking lines I have better lure and line control over smaller baits. I also throw this setup on jerk baits and it allows suspending jerk baits to stay at that level I want on a more consistent consistent basis. Again, better lure and line control. Now the scissors I used are the best braided line scissors I've ever found and these are from Cast King. They work great as you can see it took very little effort for me to snip braid and fluorocarbon. I always have a couple of pair of these in my boat and my tackle box. They work great. Now there's a lot of knots out there that work. The Alberto knot just works easier for me so that's why I tie it on a continuous basis. It just saves me some time. If you want to find out about more knots or how 
to tie more knots, you can go to my webpage, which is just jimcrowleyoutdoors.com, and there's an animated knot section on there. You can click on it, find any knot you want, and it will show you step by step how to tie any knot that you want. It's very beneficial, and that way you can see step by step how you can learn to tie any and every knot that you want. So I hope this helped you out. I hope it leads to you catching more fish. Until next time, God bless you. I'm Jim Crowley. We'll see you soon.